Welcome to our explanation for phenomenon number 14, the fireproof paper. When something heats up, its molecules move around more. Now these circles, they represent molecules, and on the left, they're cold, they're not moving around very much, and on the right, they've been heated up, so they're bouncing around all over the place. Now, if molecules move around enough, they start to come apart and combine with oxygen and start to burn. Now, back to our question for this phenomenon. Why does the paper not burn? So if you take a paper bowl, fill it with water, put it over top of a candle, it will not burn the paper bowl. Why is that? So Maya is going to explain a little bit of that right now. Hi everyone, today I'm going to be answering the question, why does the paper burn? From our fireproof paper experiment. Okay, so why do you have a candle here? Because heat rises. So show me how you can use your hand to tell that heat rises in a non-dangerous way. Yeah, you just put your hand like about um, two inches above, maybe okay. a little more above. So the candle is about 1,500 degrees, which is really, really hot. And that air is between you and the candle is going to help the heat go up. Okay, so now let's go to our bowl filled with our paper bowl filled with water here. We have a candle underneath. So what's happening with the heat there, Maya? Um, so the hot air goes up. Okay. And the, but the water steals the air, so. You mean it steals the heat? It steals the heat. So when it steals the heat, um, it never had, the heat goes up from there, but the bowl, the paper never gets hot enough to actually burn. Okay, so show me there on that picture what you're talking about. So the heated water travels up and, um, yeah. Okay, so what it sounds like you're saying is that the stuff is getting hot, the paper is getting hot, yeah. but then because the water is right next to it, the water is taking the heat away from the bowl. Yeah. Okay. So, as something gets hot, heat is passed or transferred to nearby molecules. Now, these little circles here are showing you how something is getting heated, and as they turn from blue to red, they're getting hotter, and you can see that the heat is traveling from one side to the other, from left to right, and the things are bouncing around a lot more. Now, this process is called conduction. So when you have the paper bowl over top of the candle, the paper does get some heat, um, but the water in the bowl takes on some of that heat. And as Maya was telling you, the heated water travels up. So when the heated water is um, hot, it will travel up because it is less dense, but then when it gets to the top, it will start to cool down and become more dense and it will start to sink. Now this process is called convection, when it gets hot, cools down, and sinks. Now this process, this phenomenon will even work if you use another type of liquid we tried with cooking oil and even we used a bigger candle and it still does not burn the paper. So I show, I'm gonna show you here in time-lapse photography. So you can see 30 seconds went by and there's still no burning of the paper bowl. Now this process of convection and conduction can be seen all around us and you can even see it if you look outside on a sunny day. So the sun is going to heat up the ground through the radiation and that heat is going to be felt on the ground but then the heat is going to be passed on or transferred to the air and the air is going to be warm so the warm air will be less dense and it will rise and that process is called convection. So you see this even outside. So to wrap it up, why does the paper not burn? The water helps heat travel away from the paper bowl and cool water sinks down to the paper bowl. 
and as a result, the paper never gets hot enough to burn. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you later.